Hey there guys, so today we're going to be learning about a steak these. These fishes have bones and cartilage instead of just cartilage for their skeletal structure. For the sake of our own sanity, we will be calling them bony fishes, because who has the time to call them a steak these? Bony fish have bilateral symmetry. Basically, if you cut them right down the middle, they will be equal on both sides. Same number of gill flaps, fins, and eyes. Bony fish have fusiform design which means their bodies are rounded and tapered in the front and the back. They have a lateral line that runs across their body. It has neuromats which help them sense their prey, such as crustaceans, small arthropods, mollusks, worms, and other fishes. They also have this swim bladder that helps them with their buoyancy. There are over 29,000 species of bony fish, so knowing the reproduction is a bit iffy. One way they reproduce is when the female lays out her eggs and the male releases a sperm in hopes that it will mix with the help of the water. They grow slowly from egg to juvenile fish to an adult fish. Salmon farmers use this to their advantage when harvesting salmon. Other variants of bony fish actually have internal fertilization like seahorses, and some of these fish are ready to mate right after they're born. Others take time until full maturity, and in most species, the males and the females look a lot like one another. Only a few species are unisex and produce an egg. That means that unisex bony fish are female. If they produce with other males, then they will produce mostly female offspring. Most species mate a lot during their lifetime, while others just mate once a year and die. Some species don't care what would happen to their young, while others protect their young with their life. There are quite a number of species that are hermaphrodite, where either fish that are mating can take the male or female role, like the clownfish. That makes Finding Nemo very awkward, doesn't it? Anyways, bony fish are excluded from some freshwater habitats in the lower latitudes of Africa, the Americas, the Indian subcontinent, and Australia. Otherwise, they are found everywhere. The most commonly known species are clownfish, eel, salmon, flying fish, rohu, climbing perch, puffer fish, and the seahorse. Three fun facts of the last three fishes mentioned climbing perch walk on land or trees. They look quite scary when they do. Dolphins get super high when they nibble on puffer fish because of the bony fish's toxins. But do not be alarmed. The toxin on the skin is less harmful than the toxin in the liver. During the development of the baby seahorses, it is the male seahorse that births the offspring.